modern and it's first world, all of those features. Uh, so counterfeiting is going to be nigh on to impossible, near to impossible. Everybody in line asks me if they like the notes. I say, yes, it looked like Canadian money, it looked like European money, it looked modern, and that's what we want, modern looking money. It has more security features on it, which is great. Good for the blind, they can, it's very tactile, they can feel which note is uh, what denomination. And you can mix up the 500 and the 5,000 again, different colors. So all those are pluses. And we have national heroes, more of them, on the notes, which is wonderful. So each note have two people on it instead of one, and that allows us to put a lot of people on the notes. When they were the coins, who pay any attention nowadays? Nobody pay any attention. You know? So we're really proud of the new notes, and I think Jamaicans are going to love them. Were there a lot of planning put into the design oh, yes. and for this? Of course. I mean, we've been nearly three years in the planning. Because remember, you know, you have to design the notes. You have to get the approval of the Minister of Finance about what the note looks like. Uh, we come up with a new note of the 2000. We have to get that approved. Then they had to go back and actually fine tune the design to print it. Then they had to print it and ship it here. So all of that takes a lot of time. In fact, more than two years in the works. So we're happy for today. Um, and customers can go to pretty much any bank today. And so long as they have sufficient of the notes, they can get their own. The $2,000 notes, do you think in time it will actually replace the 5000 meaning it will be more... More popular. Yes. Absolutely. Because uh, 5000 is a big note. You know, 2000 is a little bit in the middle. So instead of walking with a 10, 1000 note, you walk with a 2000, 3000. You know, it, 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 it works out as you carry less notes with you. And I think people will like that. It's modern and it's first world, all of those features. Uh, so counterfeiting is going to be nigh on to impossible, near to impossible. Uh, we didn't have a lot of counterfeit in the past, but you know, you have to keep up with the times. What didn't happen in the past can happen in the present. So you have to raise your standard as you go along. And that's what we have done. World-class counterfeit uh, controls are built into the you're one of the first customers in the bank this morning. Yes. You were changing over to the new notes. Tell me what you think about the, the notes. Well, they're nice. I like them. I know, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, they look like more foreign. <laughs> <laughs> Comparing to the old notes, what are some of the differences you have seen? Yeah, it's like a lot of difference. Yeah, I like them. You like them? Okay. Um, where are you from? Hanover. Hanover. And you traveled to Kingston this morning? Yes, I came yesterday. You just for the opening of the bank notes. So you were probably one of the first person in Westmoreland to get the notes. Yes, <laughs> yes I am. That, that's something. Um, tell me, what motivated you to come out, to come so far to get my the... Sister. Well, she said, I'm going to change them all. My sister, yeah. What did then she... Then again, I really like them and I want, them, and I want to be the first person in Hanover to have them. Tell me, which one of the notes are your favorite? Tell us what you like about the currency and don't like about it. Well, the it has security features that prevents counterfeiting because, it, um, you know, the Bank of like England, for example, the, the pound sterling had 100 counterfeit notes to every million that they retrieved. Now it's less than that. So it's for security reasons. Compared, compared with the old notes, what's the major differences you see and do you like well, the, the feel, the texture, the, all of that the, stuff? The polymer is a lot cleaner and there's, there's presumably they say it would have a lot longer time in circulation so it would save the bank. No? So it's more durable. William Alexander Clark Bustamante and Norman Washington Manley. Together. So you're saying this is a historic it, it is it is it's a, a, a significant it's a significant um, day today, yeah. So I assume this is one of your favorite out of the notes then. I, I wouldn't say that, but I would say it it, it, it has relevance to all the other notes. It is it's the impetus to all the other notes. Our currency has finally caught up with the rest of the world in terms of 
being a first world kind of yes. spending money. Yes. With in, in, in many ways, in terms of the security features, in terms of the, uh, for the blind, in terms of it being looking modern, uh, the, the actual note itself, the paper that it's on, is a polymer substrate, which means that it lasts much longer than the current notes. Uh, so if you see, um, right now we change out notes like every two and a half, three years. Um, these should last twice as long. Uh, it should be available island wide today. The banks have been taking the new notes, uh, not just today, but days before. So pretty much it should be in every branch. Does every branch have enough for people who come in? I don't know. Uh, but as the banks bring in old dirty money and we give them new money, it will be the new notes will be given. So as the days go by, you'll find more and more of the new notes in the economy. How long, what's the estimated time for the phase out of the older notes? Well, the older notes are going to be still good tender for uh, two years three years, uh, but we expect less and less of the old notes to be there. So as they're coming, you won't be sending them back out, basically? As they're coming to us, we'll yeah. be sending out the new, new notes. notes. Yeah. All right, thank but you very if much. somebody has a note, old note two years from now, still good. All right.